Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, I will teach you how to find the GCF or greatest common factor and the LCM or least common multiple of 2 to 4 numbers using continuous division method. It is important for you to know how to get the GCF and LCM of numbers because these are used in solving fractions. So, I decided to make this video for you to learn how to get the GCF and LCM of numbers using continuous division. Okay, let's start with two numbers. Let's answer this problem. Find the GCF and LCM of 8 and 10. Okay, we will use the continuous division method in finding the GCF and LCM. So, in continuous division method, we will divide the given numbers by their prime factors. When we see prime, it is a number with only two factors, one and the number itself. Like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. These are the prime numbers below 20. So we can use these numbers in finding the GCF and LCM using continuous division method. Okay, let's answer now. Let's write the numbers 8 and 10. Then, you need to think of a number that can divide both 8 and 10. So, the prime number that can divide 8 and 10 is 2. So, we will divide 8 and 10 by 2. 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. The quotient 4 and 5 do not have other common factor aside from 1. So, we will not divide them anymore. Okay, since there is only one prime number that can divide 8 and 10 and that is 2, so automatic, 2 is the GCF of 8 and 10. And now, to get the LCM of 8 and 10, we are going to multiply the prime factor of 8 and 10 and the quotient. Okay, so we need to multiply 2 times 4 times 5. The answer is 40. So 40 is the LCM of 8 and 10. This time we will try three numbers okay let's answer this question what is the gcf and lcm of 4 8 and 12 okay let's write the numbers 4 8 and 12 then think of a prime number that can divide all three numbers so that prime number that can divide 4 8 and 12 is 2 so let's divide 4 divided by 2 equals 2, 8 divided by 2 equals 4, and 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Okay, look at the answers. We can still divide these numbers by 2 again. So we will divide them again by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Okay, the quotients 1, 2, and 3 do not have other common factor aside from 1. So, we will stop dividing now. Now, to get the GCF, we will multiply the two numbers we used as divisors. Since these numbers divide all the given numbers. Okay, let's multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. So, the GCF is 4. And then, to get the LCM of 4, 8, and 12, we need to multiply the prime divisors 
and the quotients of the numbers. Okay, let's multiply. 2 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 3. Okay, 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. And 8 times 3 equals 24. So, 24 is the LCM of 4, 8, and 12. Okay, for the last example, we will get the GCF and LCM of four numbers. So, get the GCF and LCM of 8, 12, 20, and 32. Okay, continuous division pa rin yung gagamitin natin. Okay, i-divide natin ang apat na numbers na ito sa prime factors nila. Okay, pwede natin itong i-divide sa 2. Okay, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. And 32 divided by 2 equals 16. Okay, lahat ng answers ay even numbers. So, pwede natin itong ma-divide ulit sa 2. Okay, i-divide natin. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Okay, tingnan ninyo yung answers. 2, 3, 5, at saka 8. Sa apat na number na ito, meron pang dalawang number na may common factors maliban pa sa 1. Kaya pwede pa natin itong ma-divide. So, dapat ninyong tandaan na kapag mayroon pang dalawang pares na numero na pwede pang ma-divide o mayroon pang common factors, ay kailangan i-divide natin kahit dalawa na lang sila. Para makuha natin ang tamang LCM ng lahat ng numbers. Okay, kaya i-divide natin yung 2 at saka 8 sa GCF nila na 2. Yung 3 at saka 5, dahil hindi naman sila ma-i-divide sa 2, i-bring down na lang natin yung 3 at saka 5. Tapos, i-divide na natin yung 2 at saka 8. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Okay, so yung quotients 1, 3, 5 at saka 4, ay wala na silang ibang common factor maliban sa 1. Kaya hindi na tayo mag-divide. So, ang susunod natin gagawin ay kukunin na natin ang GCF at saka LCM. Okay, dito tatlong 2 ang ginamit nating prime divisors. Pero para makuha natin ang GCF, yung multiply lang natin na prime divisors ay yung nakadivide lamang sa apat na numero. So, dapat na, na divide niya talaga yung apat na numero. Kasi, kapag hindi, ibig sabihin hindi siya common factor ng lahat ng given numbers. So, ang multiply natin dito, common factors of all four numbers. Kaya naman, ang multiply lang natin dito ay yung dalawang 2 lamang. Dahil yung dalawang 2 na i-divide niya yung apat na numero. So, 2 times 2 equals 4. The GCF is 4. At para makuha naman natin ang LCM, ay multiply natin lahat ng prime divisors at saka yung last quotients ng numbers. Okay, i-multiply na natin. 2 times 2 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 5 times 4. The answer is 480. So, 480 is the LCM of 8, 12, 20, and 32. Kapag sinabi natin LCM, ito yung pinakamababang number na pwede nating i-divide sa given numbers. At kapag GCF naman, ito yung pinakamataas na number na pwedeng maka-divide 
sa given numbers. I hope you learn in this video. See you next time. God bless!